my friend, it's Pat Sloan here, and we are on the last day of our Block Wednesday. Our there it is, there it is, with the border on, and uh, we are we are done. We are done with the Block Wednesdays. So I went outside. I took it outside so you could take a look and see the whole thing more easily. It's a big quilt, particularly after you get you that after you get that border on. You're adding two, four, six, that's like 12 more inches all the way around with the inner border and the outer border. So let's go ahead and look outside. Here she is, our jelly roll sampler outside on the clothesline. And there is a bit of a breeze, but it's not, it's not affecting it, possibly because it is so long. <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome, awesome size, isn't it? it turned out so well in my Paradise Park loving every little bit of it the pops of pink along that inner border like that is so fun a little unexpected ah just got a bug bite ah okay there you go i just love it it turned out so good now this one right from the beginning i decided it was going right to charity as a top and i'm going to send them backing so here is the backing I picked from Paradise Park for this quilt. And then this is the binding that I will give to the charity group. So all of this is going right, this will go right to the charity group. So this today will be the last time you see it here. Uh, I will put a picture up on the gallery page, you know, like you saw outside. So I am very excited and I wanna thank uh, Bobby, my friend Bobby, who's also one of our ambassadors for helping me sew this one. She helps me sew a lot of them that, you know, go to charity so it is a joint effort on some of the projects uh, and thank you everybody for sewing along on this I saw that there's a lot of your tops being shown in the group called along with Pat Sloan at Facebook and I'm going to grab some of those pictures and next Wednesday we will do a little parade of your tops so we can see how they turned out it's so exciting so exciting now we do have our next block Wednesday info already. So it's on the project page at my website and you can go on over there and look at it. It's all uh, the ode to the national park and they'll, it'll be nine blocks. They're really easy. And not only that, but I will also be, um, I think I am going to sew two of them. <sighs> Did I say that out loud? I've been thinking about it because I have this fabric line in Fat Eights and I, it's called um, Shoreline. There's blues, navy, blue, green, and I have that link on the project page. And I think I'm going to do the blocks in this as well. I just bought uh, this fabric like for the border. I just think it'll be fantastic and, and a lot of fun. I think it'll be fun for me because I wanna show the fabrics in more than one way. So here is our, here's the layout. You already have the layout, which also has the supply list. It's all there already. So the nine blocks will be, and I'm doing gratitude and grace for the main, the main one, gratitude and grace, which um, I know it's, it'll be up, it'll be at quilt shops in the very near future, uh, in a, maybe a couple weeks into most quilt shops. Uh, so that's, that is good. That is good. We start, uh, September 11, start uh, September 11 with this guy. So we have a little bit of a break. We, the Royal, we, I have a little bit of a break and I'm looking forward to, um, our Wednesday just, you know, being a little bit more casual. So that'll be fun. And then back in September when we all sort of reboot, be super cool. Okay. There are a few, um, D uh, celebrations for today. One, it is Lighthouse Day. They're kind of related. It's Beach Party Day and Lighthouse Day. So I actually have a book with a lighthouse in it. So if you happen to have It's Your Turn, which is all about doing a round robin in a sort of fun manner and it's uh, showing you all my friends that I did the round robin with and what our contributions were to each quilt and how it all works and how you could set that up for yourself. Um, so this was done with my leisure arts and I, I'm going to check and see if they have it as a digital book as well. Um, otherwise I'll link you to it. So, you know, there, it's not in print anymore, but there's usually, um, copies for resale over at Amazon. So I'll link you to that, but the, 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 um, the sailboat, I mean the, um, well, it does have a sailboat, but the, the, uh, lighthouse was on my friend Jean's quilt. 
And so this is what her quilt ended up with from the round robin. So fun! <laughs> so it is a, it's a, a beach party day also. So if you have beachy quilts, quilts with beach themes, share those as well. Your late houses and your beach themes. Perfect for August, right? Just perfect. Okay, I did have a finish. A finish! I have two quilts that came back. The sea glass came back, but I haven't trimmed it yet. So I'm not gonna show you that one yet. But I'll show you this one today. The picnic quilt came back. And let me get the right side. We did a, um, a rainbow, kind of a rainbow quilting on it. So here's the picnic quilt. I know, it's hard to see. I'll have to go do a picture outside or something then. I don't have that yet. But here's the backing where I used this awesome gingham that was just perfect with this willow. And then used the layer cake pieces that were left. I think that was what I had. Or fat, from Fat Quarter, they were, I think, bigger than a layer cake. I used this. Oh, do I have a layer cake? I do not remember. I do not remember. You remember better than me. Uh, <laughs> so you can see, you can see the rainbow on the quilting, right? See it? Yeah. Isn't that perfect? Because there is one fabric in here with the rainbows. I'll show you to it on, your, on the back because I can see it better there. See the rainbow fabric? Oh, I love this. I love this. And Karen that quilted it for me, she uh, loves the fabric. <laughs> She's like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. It's like, it must be hard when you're a long armor because you get all kinds of things that come in that you probably want to make, right? <laughs> so what we're going to do is... Uh, I have to, I, I, some of my stuff has been a little bit disjointed. Some of the stuff I've shared because of all this state fabric that's coming in, I've been trying to, to anyway, get the fit all that in and they're coming in and it's in like large groups. And so I did the project planning review stuff, but I didn't finish showing you all that. So today I'm going to show you like the major part two of that going through the projects and there might be a tiny bit of a overlap repeat and I may have mentioned stuff before that was actually in this part that you didn't actually see yet so if that didn't make sense it'll probably make sense now uh, that is, this will be this is the second part let's just watch it so let's see what I came up with I pulled I think 15 projects 14 projects and uh, I'm kind of comfortable with that number adding it to the other things there's probably at least one in here that I may I may pass on it and never do, and I'm gonna tell you that, so I'll look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the first one is the kitty pattern with uh, the Fruit Loops fabric. So there's the kitty pattern, and I got the Fruit Loops fabric, and one of our friends sent me that kitty fabric, so I tossed that in here too. Uh, so this one, definitely, I mean, I just think it's so adorable, so I wanna do it. I want to do the elephant, the Christmas elephant. It needs a better bag, a oh, much better bag. We're just gonna take it out of this bag right now. This is the bag it came in. And I'm gonna probably put it in uh, the, a blue bin with some other things. So this guy is definitely a go. And I have a link to the pattern for that, for the Poppy Ellie from um, the Gourmet Quilter. So cute, right? Yes. And I did buy the kit at the time, and I found that I didn't see those anymore. They're not out there. But uh, we'll figure that out when that time comes. Okay, so I have, these are the uh, canning jar blocks. When I did the other canning jar, I tried the two patterns. This was the bigger free pattern. And see, look like, whoops, look like that. And in here, there's one. Here's one. Yeah, so I mean, it's not huge, but I w this was tomatoes, but I collected all the mushroom fabric. So I want to do them all in mushrooms, but I want to do them on the black and white with red tops like this. Maybe all red polka dots, maybe different red polka dots. I don't know, but these are all mushroom fabrics. And so I want to do a quilt with those. So this is a definite go for next year. Okay. Let me show you the one that is a maybe. All right, so let me put, let me just put this on the floor. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is heavy. I do not need as much of the mushroom fabric that is in there. I need pieces of it, but not the huge pieces. Okay, so this is my 
maybe project. It's one that I collected a lot of the fabrics that are similar. It's a laundry basket pattern for these applique pumpkins. And when this came out, I just thought it was so darling. And my best friend Cindy made it. And I didn't make it with her because I was on the road teaching and I was writing books and I was doing all these other things. And so I really couldn't do other people's patterns at that time. And I just collected the fabric. And then Cindy sent me her, she bought the template for tracing all the applique shapes. And so she sent that to me. This is my friend that passed away. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I want to make this. It's almost to honor Cindy, but, um, you know, I don't know if it'll be next year. I don't know if it'll be a 2025 or not. I don't have to do it in 2025. It's like I can do it the next year. So that's that's the only one on there that is, that's a definite maybe. That's a definite maybe. Um, I have wanted to have us do a quilt as the go on these batting squares for a long, long time. And so I think I definitely will do that. It can be done with scraps and other things. So that is so fun. So that's a definite. Uh, we already know we're doing this one. So that was on the pile. So we're definitely doing that one. I do, I am going to put this in the mix. Definitely, oh, some of them are, some are getting away. Hold on. So definitely going to put the 100 blocks in the mix. And I definitely will do it on the days, just the days that I have videos. So, and I'm looking at how I do block Wednesday. And so, um, next year yeah that, let's talk about that so let's talk about that so i know i want to do grandma's kitchen again next year for block wednesday and that has quite a few blocks so i was thinking of doing two block wednesdays with a break in the summer when we already have when we have those two mystery quilts and then if we have the two mystery quilts and then this on wednesdays that'll be that'll be the summer part that'll be june july and august and or maybe you know june july and then grandma's kitchen and then afterwards do this my favorite color is moda quilt it's a, it's 20 blocks so i have to look at the calendar either that or this will go to 2025 for the january block wednesday so one one or the other so like i said i've got this one i'm going to do this one i just think they're they're not hard blocks so that'll be super cool uh let's see i'm gonna maybe pile there definitely going to do this one next year the um buggy the bee i mean i've had this for about four years now and i have not made it so i want to do that one i'd like to make with this cute petal popper pillow uh it's a dimensional pillow that's not a big project so i think that'll be fun to add in now the ones that i'm not sure other ones i'm not sure uh, I pulled some clothing patterns I would like to do a clothing pattern next year something I also have the tunic book but these seemed this one seemed pretty nice here uh, so I've got I've got those the confidence stitch is where I will get the clothing fabric they have some Belgian linen fabric I saw when I visited their shop that I want to try I have three patterns that basically I'm going to keep in the mix because there will be fabric that comes along and when the fabric comes along i'll be like oh i want to i want to sew something with this fabric what will it work in uh, and that is what books are for as well <laughs> that's what books are for and i know there will be book projects that i want to do so these three uh the jubilee the um what is this one called a barn star the barn style barn style because it's pretty simple shapes and then the walkabout and so these are three that when I see like a fabric and I'm like, I just want to make something with that fabric to play with it. These are the three I'm going to keep as potentials to do that. So now what I have to do for myself is um, take all of these ones that I pulled and see when do I want to make them so that, that quilt can be, if it's seasonal, like the elephant, uh, the Christmas elephant, you know, I, it's, and I'm using Christmas fabric so he's seasonal so i need to make him probably like in august august in september or something like that so that he can be quilted and, and enjoyed in the fall and then i know that the one wherever it was the color me moda if this is the, i know when that would come for block wednesday we already know when this is coming uh, because of the time frame you know it's already scheduled for january so there you go so some of them have definite times and then i know that there's the um the mysteries with the fat quarter shop 
uh, in the summer, the July and uh, June and July mysteries. There's also the Make a Wish and the other charity. And then I have something with the, um, you know, there'll be probably something else charity oriented. So I want to leave space for that. And then a little room for anything that's fun that comes up. Okay, so that is how I broke it down. I will be making a list on the back of our calendar. Eventually you'll start to see these popping in as projects. So that is where you'll see them when they come up and I'll tell you about them. And But I'm going to put them all in their own bin, which I have a blank bin. <laughs> so I've got a blank bin. So they're all gonna go in here and that way I can find them, including the cats and the elephant with the fabrics. They'll go in here, so everything. Now those two that I showed you, the canning jars and the pumpkins, those, these three will all go on the same shelf in the cabinet over there on the far side. See the doors open? See on the far side over there where the blue bins are, you can see them. That's one, one shelf will keep these three together so that way I can find them. Well, there's what I did. I feel pretty good about that. It's good because it's been knocking around in my brain. And when it's doing that, I can't, I, I just, because I need to get it down, I need to figure it out. I got to put it on paper. I got to put it in a computer. I got to put it on my schedule. Once I do all that, then I'm like, okay, I don't have to think about it anymore once I write it down. So I just feel so good when I get to that point. And of course, I just pulled it. I haven't done the writing down part. So that's next. <laughs> that's, for, that's for me to do next. <laughs> Okay, there you go. So I have been now plotting out by month the different projects and what fitting these in, but then also leaving some space for some fun things like how I wanted to make the pairs, why I want to be able to have space to do that. And uh, I'm trying to balance that out a bit more. I don't need to make quite as many quilts anymore. You know, so with all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's... This is going to be a little bit longer because I need to get through all of these state things because I know there's more coming in the mail and um, we only have six states left. So from this point on, only those six states do you need to send. So if, if, if you're from in another country and you want to send it, you know, you can, you can do that. But the six states, we only need Alabama, Delaware, Idaho, Mississippi, Rhode Island and Vermont. That is in the description box here. It's in the pinned post and it is at the state project page. So just concentrate on those. Um, and I know that you might feel like, oh, I wish I'd gotten in on this. There's always something else I'll be doing that you can get in on. We're now just needing those six states. But what we're gonna do is look at what's come in here. And these are all already listed on the page. I do have to show you first, um, I believe this came, I forget who this came from, but uh, in the fireside chat group at Facebook for our non, um, our non quilting chat from the YouTube here, who put that out there? Teresa said that she found, that she knew what this was from, this Ohio thing. Because remember I said like, what is that Ohio kitchen thing? And it is from, um, it's called the Ohio Lunch, just like it says there. And let me show the, let me show you the picture she shared. So this is this, this is it. This is an actual lunch place. It's a place to eat. Uh, and it was in, it's it, excuse me. It is in Hamilton, Ohio, uh, at the corner of high street and North third street. And I have a link to the actual post she did in the fireside chat. So if you want to go over there and leave a comment, if you've been here and you knew, I just thought that was super fun. So there you go. I wanted to share that with you. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to go through the rest of these. There's about 12 of them or so, and we will look at what came in. This is from Eileen in West Virginia. Look at this. How pretty the little quilt on there. On the card i love the cards that have a quilt and she is sending west virginia fabric so here here it is and then she has some some sayings and then the state <laughs> west virginia is my neighbor yes it is i don't know does that state right how is that is that how how is that 
I don't know. I didn't look. I'm not, I'm not, okay. <laughs> I apologize if I only showed it upside down. Okay, this is from Georgia in South Dakota. And she sent a, her note on a South Dakota postcard. And she has this cute fabrics. So this one here with... Look at that. It's like you would embroider over it. It looks like embroidery, doesn't it? Isn't that cool? Very pretty with the pheasant. And then more pheasants on this where it says South Dakota. And it's got like some fish and a bee and the, uh, of course, the monuments. Of course. And then another with the sayings. All you, you people up there with the uftas, they crack me up. <laughs> so there we go South Dakota so thank you thank you thank you Georgia those are so nice Marnie in Canada sent me this um, one with all the Canadian provinces it also does say Canada and she also made me a fabric postcard look how sweet that is that is so cute so so cute love it we have Marie in West Virginia. No, oh, I'm sorry, Marie in Wyoming. Oh, excuse me if I don't get the everything right. I will get it right eventually. Wyoming, there's a pretty card. And she sent some Wyoming fabric. And let's see, let me get it. It's got camping, the jackalope. It says Wyoming, let me get, yeah, there you can see it. Wyoming, there. I love them, but they have the, you know, I, I really want to incorporate the actual state um, text in each quilt from each state. So each state will have to have, I have to have a little bit of text. You know, there are some of those that are the, um, you know, general. They have a lot of, of different states on it. So if I don't end up with one, I can pull it off of there. Okay, this next one is from Debbie in Ohio. And... She's like, oh, she is so, she wrote me such a kind note. Uh, she has this beautiful butterfly. Look at that. And she sent along, she sent me, she told me a whole bunch of things. She told me a whole bunch of things. She sent along super good Starbucks for me. Mwah. And then she remembers that I talked about Greg loving Bob Evans. And it turns out, whoops, the little paper in there. It turns out that... Uh, Debbie actually manages a Bob Evans and has for many years and Greg is so excited he just you know breakfast at Bob Evans Bob Evans our local Bob Evans is wonderful they are so good and they have um, they did a like a little renovation a while ago so it's really nice inside we really love it okay so she sent me some Ohio State fabric so I know there's lots and lots of uh, <laughs> Ohio people four of our ambassadors for the group are from Ohio. She sent, there we go, and the planes, love the planes, love, 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 love. Aviation, there's a lot of aviation history in Ohio. We used to go to the Dayton Air Show, we went a few times to the Dayton Air Show, Greg and I, way back in the day. And then these super cool panels, and here's the Ohio one, so it's got the cardinal and the state and then the smaller versions these are very cool i don't know when they came out it doesn't have a date on it, it well they were done by moda but i don't know how many years ago they actually were out or if they're new or what if you all know you can leave a comment in the description box here Okay, so we remember I said there's a few of these here, so we'll just hang on today and we'll just enjoy them. So this is from Patty in Texas. Look at this gorgeous card. Look at that. <gasps> All right, so of course, if we are in Texas, we're getting Texas fabric, Texas size fabric. And we have the flags. When we would drive into Texas, the rest stop had the gorgeous big Texas star. It makes me think of that. Uh, and the text print with all the Texas sayings, don't mess with Texas, Texas 1845. Howdy y'all, <laughs> bigger in Dallas. <laughs> We've got some armadillo, 
on there super cute and then I forget what she said but I think maybe this is their um, oh this is a blue this is blue bonnets there's the blue the duh, it's the blue bonnets Texas blue bonnets so of course of course now some of these what I'm doing when I'm putting them in my folder is I'm actually just wrapping them all together like that so that I know that you know like the blue bonnet one I might you know I don't want it to get mess, messed up and forgotten what what it went to okay so we just have a few more we've gotten through these pretty darn good okay this is from Christine in Oregon right yes in Oregon and look, she found some she found some mushroom, mushroom fabric, uh, mushroom fabric, mushroom uh, card. Oh, so cute. And she sent along like some card for Greg and a Starbucks for me, although he does drink them too, but I usually use the Starbucks. <laughs> Thank you. That is so nice. So nice of you to think of Greg. He really, really appreciates it. So what did you send from Oregon? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. These are just, okay, I'm trying to get it open. So these are just so fun. Three Sisters, many of you have gone to the show, uh, the quilt show, Outdoors and Three Sisters, Portland, um, Old Town, St. John's Bridge, Carter Lake, the Japanese Garden. Ah, how fun is that? And then she has a text print with um, Oregon, with all the different they're the towns right western meadow beaver beaver state you know all the different sayings and things and then this panel so she has the oregon right yeah up so be better if it's up right side up right right side up there we go it's got their gorgeous bird fun these are so fun okay and what do we have just a few more just three three more Three or four more. Four more. <laughs> then we're through this whole batch. And I so this is from Diane in Kansas. So she's a pretty card. And then the pretty pink Kansas fabrics. There we go. With the sunflower. Kansas sunflowers, right? That is a classic. Is that where there's the giant sunflower on on an easel, like painted on an easel? We went by that. We went up to it and saw it. <laughs> I probably took a picture with it. <laughs> this is from Sherry in Indiana, and she's sending Kentucky fabric because her home state is Kentucky. So that's what she's sending me. So Sherry, thank you. Here we go. Oh, this one's on purple. I haven't seen that on purple yet. Look at that. With the, with the cardinal. Nice. Okay. I'm trying to kind of keep these organized. All right, let me put that down there. All right, this one is from Jody in Minnesota. Jody in Minnesota. So we got that pretty card. And she sent along the text. We've got Minnesota. What is it upside down? Twin Cities, Walleye, Blueberries, Duck, Duck, Gray Duck. Is that like a saying? Duck, Duck, Gray Duck? That was all together. And then with these, the loons. Look how pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Okay. And then we'll wrap up. We will wrap up with... This is from... Okay, I'm going to pull it out here. From Iowa. And she is sending, this is from Joanne in Iowa, and she's sending me also some Minnesota fabric. So we've got, first of all, I think there's a lot of the Northeast that can uh, relate to the mosquito fabric, <laughs> which is a riot. That is a riot. And then we have, here's the Minnesota. Minnesota, like little postcards. That's so cute. Remember, these are all on I Love to Make Quilts at my state page. Oh, this is a, a lot of the different places. Um, Rupper Red Lake, Lake Millie Lock, Lake of the Woods. So a lot of you have probably been to these places. I haven't seen that one before. And then like the Lake of License Plate fabric. So cool. Okay, my friends. <sighs> 
this is just so exciting. And my my thoughts on what I'm going to do with all the safe fabrics is really starting to solidify. I have not drawn anything, but I have collected some information, written my notes, some notes down, and I sort of know where I'm going with where I want to go with it. I know what the main block I'm going to, I'm going to use a block to showcase it, um, but in different sizes and sort of a little bit splashy and a little bit very very asymmetrical uh, so I've got a kind of that idea going but it'll be a little while because you know back here are the critters and that is next so tomorrow on the video you want to be here because I am going to pick a set of fabric to use in the spacers and start working on the critter quilt okay Share your uh, Block Wednesdays. I can't wait to see what you did. So I love you and thank you everybody for your generosity with the state fabrics and the little gifts and the big gifts that you have sent. You have, are just an amazing, amazing community. You make me feel so loved. And I love you. Mwah. I will see you online. Mm -hmm.